What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, uh, we are carrying on with trying to secure France and also being a bit of a sneaky devil um, around the British Isles. And so we've got a couple of formations here that need mopping up. Formation here in La Havre that are currently raiding our port and a formation down here in Marseille, which we have dispatched troops to deal with. So the next question is the question of Strasbourg and Brussels because I'm just acutely aware of the fact that if there are factions that love to attack the human player, it's these two smaller German factions. They love it and they're in part of an alliance. Now, and Württemberg is allied with France, who I'm already at war with, so it's not impossible that I end up in a quite a major conflict with potentially Austria, Prussia and United Provinces, depending on which one of these guys declares war on me. So it's actually quite tempting to just hold the strategic position in Paris, but allow these regions to exist um, as French territory before pushing east. Actually, I wonder... If I just say peace and trade... You want Sardinia? No. I will offer my entire treasury. No. Okay, well, I'll try and make peace with them... I will try and keep making peace with them because it's not really in my interest to push east eastward just yet because that's definitely a way to embroil me in quite a significant European war that I am not yet in a position to fight. I would rather expand my holdings in the Caribbean and my trade positions overseas. That's what I'd rather do. Ah, so are the Ottomans going to take a long time? It looks like they are. So see you in a second, everyone. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to chop it. <laughs> oh, actually. No, well, there we go. Bang on time. Radio. See you in a second, everyone. And we're back. And here come the Russian fleet. That's actually quite nice of them, because they're clearing out the port of one of our trade partners as well. So good on them, Russia. Them's good people in this campaign. Um, but yeah, my overall plan, I think, is to try and get that peace deal and expand in the Caribbean, capture more Spanish territories or new Spanish territories, and also British territories, and French ones as well. we got options. We have options. And also being aboard Britain means I could also invade 13 colonies. So I think it would be interesting to try and hold in Europe and not get overly um, aggressive try and expand overseas that would be pretty neat i think otherwise we well i just don't want to get bogged down in a european war right off the bat we've i fixed one oh we've lost trade with the Marathi confederacy eh trade trade and i'll offer 500 gold pieces Fair enough, let's try to find someone else. Not the Barbary State, so it looks like it's only Prussia. <laughs> okay then, 480 gold pieces, I'll take it. Okay, so, yeah, there's no... There's no impetus to drive eastward in Europe. I'm just going to mop up the last of these fellows. We build the port, replenish... The army, bring the cavalry back. You guys are in good shape. 7,900, roughly nearly 8,000 8, rather. That's pretty good. Um, oh yeah, got this town here. Let's upgrade you to a coaching inn. Just help deal with the impact of that university. New Andalusia has grown. So I'm probably going to want to drop some money here. Upgrade Caracas's military production because we can't go up the coast anymore. We could go for Port Royal, Nassau. Wait a minute. Where's that army gone? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, so we could go Port Royal, Nassau, Martinique, Antigua, take those territories back and potentially land. Land here at Boston, pretend maybe, and attack 13 colonies. 
I think that would be a fun idea, but it does mean I need to spend some money in here in Caracas. Let's upgrade the gold mine. Let's upgrade the government building here in Panama. Let's replenish this army as much as we can. I think that's a good way to play it. And also, actually, well, two turns to Rio de la Hacha, which is this here, this port here, which means, yeah, we could get a, um, a military shipyard here, which could be quite useful. Two turns off from any new technologies. France, peace, trade. Excellent. Now they're very friendly with us, and that's actually pretty good. So now I've got a friendly... I didn't destroy this army, but they teleported back to France. So this army can sit on the border. So right now, we have no enemies in continental Europe. Everyone has left us alone. We've spent all our cash. Cool. One thing I do want to do, I haven't... I, I meant to do this ages ago. Take out this new Spanish fleet down here. Because it's only a handful of ships, isn't it? Fifth. Fifth. And the Jebek. So I want to bring... Where's my fleet? There they are. Yeah, they got uh, a bit knackered <laughs> up north. Two more new fourth rate to joining them, however, so that would be pretty sweet. Let's upgrade the naval board. There we go, I am in Lisbon. Let's hit N10. Yep, I'm more than happy for France to act as my um, eastern buffer. I don't want to be allies with them. I don't want to be enemies with them. They can focus on their enemy to the east. Let's see how the Ottoman Empire behaves. Hmm. Chop time. See you in a second. That time wasn't actually that bad, so there might be a case to not necessarily um, immediately run. <laughs> uh, to chop every... Every Ottoman in turn now. Could be possible. And New Spain shifts their ch their focus. Be yeah, with Savoy to the south and a p peaceful French on our borders. We're looking pretty good in Europe. I'm probably going to keep the armies I've got, but I'm not going to necessarily expand them that massively. But I am potentially going to recruit ships to send to the Americas. And there goes the Barbary States. Oh yeah, the Brits own Malta. That might be quite a good little uh, objective to gain. 12,000's pretty beast. Um, okay, so... Let's repair these last buildings that have been damaged by the French. Let's repair, let's get a sloop recruited to the south to occupy Marseille. We don't need two seminaries. To be honest, we probably even don't, don't even need one seminary, because they're almost 100% Catholic anyway. And so is everyone else we border with, except for the Dutch, but you'll probably build one in, in there anyway. Orléans, let's get a school back. So yeah, there is going to be some upset, but I think the happiness building is going to offset it, as is repairing the pleasure garden. Cool. Got 9,000. Let's replenish these ships. The two fourth rates are in good condition. Head to West Africa. Let's recruit... Two galleons in each, one galleon in each of our trade ports. Is there a limit? How many of these I can build? No. Good. And then let's get one fourth rate for the home fleet. 
save our spending. So we can get... Okay, Caracas can probably stand to have basic roads first. I mean, I can already recruit Colonial Line. It's a bit unfortunate that these guys are raiding, but I can only have ships in so many places. 12,900 next turn for trade. I mean, I'm cautiously optimistic. And they seem to be okay with letting my little fleet here. Ah, uh, they've got troops in Bristol. They're not stopping me at Portsmouth, though. Let's go for Greenwich. Ooh. Let's prevent them from upgrading the university in Cambridge and back to Greenwich. That was our only recruitment. Let's get our agent out of the territory of Flanders, well, the territory of Brussels. Let's see what lies beyond. Okay, there's, the, there's potentially an argument to ship some troops westward. Maybe you fellows. Maybe. One more turn to two quite good technologies show up. Coke blast furnace and explosive shells. Yes. And the next turn we get our naval board. So one of our universities is definitely going to focus on... Yeah. <laughs> one of our navies is definitely going to focus on... Um, one of our schools, rather, is definitely going to focus on researching naval technologies. You demand another... A, you did propose an alliance? No. Don't want to be involved in European wars? You fellows, crack on. We've got an empire to grow. So last time the Ottomans weren't actually that... Didn't take that long, so... Let's give them a bit of the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, if I can start recruiting Colonial Line in Caracas, get them to join up with my main force, then sail and slowly start to knock out some of these enemy islands. Promote, provide more goods, more trade goods for the wider market. And being Portuguese, I think having that trade focus is quite thematic. Even if it will eventually, I think, drive the cost of, or the value of everything through the floor. But incremental growth. That's what we want. When there's two fourth rates get down to the west coast of Africa, they can join up with one of the, one of the fourth rates that are currently already in the area. And those three ships can attack a small new Spanish ship. The Spanish fleet bring in both the fifth rates to the fleet will split my trade ships up amongst the nodes then bring my small war squadron back can knock out the Barbary states I mean Sardinia is an interesting little bargaining chip to try and get some trade deals because it's never really worth well it's worth something to me because I didn't have any income but it's more about the fact that most factions, when they own Sardinia, don't really do anything with it except garrison it. So down the line, it could be a useful territory to give away for, tr for uh, diplomatic purposes. For now, let's not worry about it. Twelve thousand four hundred. New port emerges. Shipyard, and I I do like. Yeah, militia is still the cheapest. I do like occupying military shipyards with. Actually, I can get one of you to do it, can't I? I do like occupying military shipyards with uh, infantry, so that when you're moving fleets in and out you actually don't spend as much time um, <laughs> moving ships in and out of port. I'm going to run them over to Krak. Oh, that's a lot of turns. Let's move. Let's use the sloop to move them back to Caracas. Just to drop them off the coast. 
And bring the sloop back to Cartagena. So Bogota is currently not ex doesn't export goods, but Panama is successfully exporting because none of them are greyed out. So they've got the capacity to, to export more sugar. So let's get another sugar warehouse. Before we need to worry about upgrading the port. Same here with you fellas, I think. Currently exporting all of the sugar you've got, so let's get a another sugar warehouse. 2,000 fleet arrives. There we go. So, your fleet's okay. I wanted to pick up this fourth rate. Ooh, did you... I thought they'd expand. I thought they'd uh, grown their strength. Let's go after these new Spanish ships. Let's go after them and bring them into the fold. Admiral at the rear. Okay. Let's get a look at them. So Potencia, the fifth rate, lost lost uh, four guns, six guns. No, and the crew's depleted. I mean, this fifth rate is just very low. And to be honest, I might even bring the Zhebek into into Portuguese service because I could send that ship off to what to a trade to a trade zone. And still do some good. Let's cut across the T quite aggressively because they're going to get here quick. I'm probably actually left it too late anyway. I have left it too late. But nevertheless, my ships are in good condition. Chop their formation in half. It's Nelson, this mother. Which means this fourth rate is going to be firing chain shot if they're going to cut through the middle. Doing some damage here. You're going to go ahead. It's going to be timed quite nicely, I think. Not if you, not if you, not if you drop your sails. Isn't that brilliant? They decide, no, we're going to crash into them. So let's not fire. It's like, no, that's exactly what I want you to do. So fire your broadside left. It's Potencia. Get you firing broadsides. Still fire chain shot. We'll put some shots into the Zhebek, hopefully causing them some discomfort. The main mast has gone down, it's actually hovering. The Zhebek is routing. Interesting square that's showing up there. Rear mast is down. Okay, pivot. Put your shots into... You can go at full speed now. Put your shots into this chap. You're also going to put a broadside into this fish rate. Well, they're actually going to let you fire at will just because they're going to shoot. Concerned. Many guns are destroyed. I, mean, I really like knocking out sails. It's my thing. Especially if he's going to run. If he's going to run.
interesting how this this effect has started. Square effect with the new Spaniards. I think that ship's going to make a run for it. Fire a broadside of chain shot into the back of that ship. I know you're not reloaded. Speed up, get up here. Okay, one of my four rates is caught out of position. Temptation to fire chain, so strong. So the broadside right's done. You cut them off, firing chain. Fire your broadside early. Keep turning. Turn hard. Sail at full sail. You also chuck canister shot into that fella. Oh, broadsides into them. That's not great. You know, it isn't great though. I'm, so, I'm never, I'm never entirely convinced with that. How you can give the orders to, for them to make, to give chase? I never feel like it ever works not the way you want it to Come on, knock out a mast kind of feels like with these smaller ships it's just not worth doing unless you're in a very advantaged position like you've got them in the stern you're going to just pummel this ship with broadsides, though. Boarding? Trying to board us. Fire that one gun. Go away. Okay, drop your anchor. The ship to head to cut them off. You keep pouring in canister, uh, chain shot into her mast. Oh no, the ship is routing at full sail. This could slow her down though. Oh no, she's sinking. Sink for fifth rate, that's not ideal. That's right, you scallywags to the to Davy Jones locker with you. That's right, drop your sails. Get them nice and big. You're 
definitely going to fly around shot though, because you get there hella close. Slow down this fifth rate, let them fire a broadside into Potencia. Let this fourth rate just steam steam on ahead at full sail. You begin your turn to fire into her sails. How about you? enough. Okay, it's going to have to be broadside time. You can also just push on by that broadside left, otherwise I'll just keep thinking about it. Pivot and pour it on them. Heading our way. Go on, Sinhora. Pivot. Here's a rear mast. Round shots can. Round shots can knock out masts, but it's usually a bit. It's like a much lower chance of doing that. We are going to continue because uh, we want the ship. So, zoop! <laughs> it's border. Once we haul her in, fire will off. Once we haul her in, she'll be ours. Close victory. A bit of a messy one, I must admit. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. Sure. But still, fifth rate in Jebek. Into the fleet. Back you... I was going to say, back you devils go to Europe. So we can... Divvy up some of our ships. Pretty sure... Yeah, that's the Morocco who we're at peace with. So if we, ever, if we ever were to attack Morocco, we need to remember to jump onto this trade zone. So what I'm going to do is back here in Europe, build a fifth rate. Because I think we're going to need them. You can take your time and get to the port. Should be okay. And then land here. Don't buy anything. Because this French force here, well, we'll be able to sweep them aside. Let's hit end turn. So we've got two Greenwich. Oh, the Royal Navy attacked that Swedish ship and sank. Or got captured. Ooh. Opportunity to intercept. Yes. <laughs> because I want that fifth rate. If I'm not if I'm gonna have an army a navy sat in Gibraltar, I may as well use it to gobble up um loan. Royal Navy ships when they come my way. If it auto resolved it, I might have sank it and stuff might be destroyed and you know, it's just a mess. Whereas as it is, you've got Edna, the heavy pro oh it's a heavy privateer, not a fifth rate. Well, you will get sailed straight off to the colonies, my son. You can bring back sugar ivory and other things back to the glory of the portuguese empire 48 guns so yeah roughly the same as a similar to a fifth rate but I imagine there's probably some movement and hull point uh trade-offs being done here i mean these are glorious models yeah they're coming right at us they are 
They are not interested in survival. They only wish to die. To be honest, I should just make them stop. Still speed up time, because until they get to encouraged friendly numbers nearby, where? So you guys can blast them with chain shot. New ships begin to pivot, because you can tell they're going to try and smash straight through our line. If I sail you forward, that ain't gonna happen. Bring her about, good sir. San Alberto. Broadside into her masts. Sound snafu. Oh, if we could take that guy out specifically. Four mast is gone. Need not, you need not die so, so pointlessly. Shot away for that. Oh, four shots coming in. Jan <laughs> has been killed. Surrendered. I should think so. Commanding a heavy privateer. This is the Portuguese heroic navy indeed. Heroic. Bring the privateer to... Blub, 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 blub. This is exactly what you... What having control over the Strait of Gibraltar is supposed to do. So it would be foolish for me to then not do it. I think that's a fair assessment. But we are incrementally gaining controlling stake in the West African coast, but I'd like to get over to the the West Indies and the Straits of Madagascar. Oh, <laughs> the entire Russian Navy destroyed by Sweden. Yeah, Sweden's holding their own. I've got no problems with Sweden. Yep, Savoy is a brave ally of ours. So they may draw us into conflict with either Spain or Genoa, but if they do, they do. I think it's quite thematic to have a southern North Italian ally to help us cover the southern flank of our captured territory of Paris. And it does buy me time to uh, build up my economy to deal with the Germans. I mean, I could invade Britain, but to be honest, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling that much of a threat from Britain. If I can just sit there and, like, if I can just sit in their ports and they don't do anything about it, then why attack them? Or at least why attack them yet? Fifteen thousand in the treasury. So let's combine. Now two recruited galleons. I think that's probably going to be enough ships in West Africa trading. The fleet arrives. Yeah, these are our damaged ships, formerly the ships that formerly belonged to the Kingdom of Spain, well, the Kingdom of New Spain. Yeah, that was that's going to happen. Fourth raids in. You men go to Cadiz. Replenish. Replenish. Good. Oh, research. Right. So, Salamanca. Go for naval architecture advances, because that will get us dry dock. Evora. Go for. 
Okay, it's marching to improve campaign map movements. Unless you go also go for... Ooh, Lion Juice of Sour Crime is going to put a naval hospital super quick. Let's do that. Let's focus on the navy for now. Or at least for the time being. Bomb catches, sick threads, brigs, sloops, galleons. So, do I have any visibility on... I'd have no visibility in the East, East Indies. No visibility here, except Britain owns some trade ships. Or has some trade ships. There's a war galleon. Okay, let's build some more battleships, because we want to have a home fleet to protect our key territories, but also more fighting power to send expeditionary forces overseas. Few men are going to recruit two 12 pounders. The demi cannons are going to be disbanded. You're going to recruit one unit of grenadiers. Actually, let's get some. Two units of frontiersmen. Another unit of infantry. And that's a really quite a decent little force, actually. We don't have much in the way of cavalry. So, actually. Mm -mm -mm. Got a lot of infantry there, actually. Let's get rid of this last colonial line. Get one colonial light cavalry. 1,300. Keep on running. Also got to move my sloop from Cartagena to Marseille. Let's upgrade a high yield farm. I mean, anything, only thing I can upgrade you to is a happiness building or church school, and I don't want either of those, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna upgrade either. There we go. Come get Paris. Paris ain't scared. Oh, I've got two regions actually. Let's one of them to a coaching in. Because we've got this building is undeveloped, plus Toulouse, plus Nantes. Nantes, I can't even pronounce it. So we've got plenty of towns, plus Calais. So yeah, we're going to build a lot more industry. Which means we need more happiness buildings to counteract the industrialization unhappiness. Good, good, good. Okay, let's head in turn. Dutch continuing their war against the French. Apologies, everyone. I knocked my microphone stand, tipped my microphone over. So there's going to be a bit of a merge here while I try and prevent you guys from hearing too much bad noises. Either way, Poland is offering an alliance for 200, and I'm not interested. Not interested at all. All I'm focused on is growing my navy. Be yeah, asked why I need more fourth rates, because I'm always going to want to have a fleet to protect the peninsula, but also I need more ships to go overseas. So I've got two fourth rates. Let's go for two fifth rates after that, potentially even more than that, to go clear the way. Sweden's growing their strength. And their admiral's gaining experience. So I wonder where you're going to march. Because you've got Copenhagen. India's, India's currently is still in a state of war, which is nice. The Georgian Navy's growing. See that, that Württemberg stack? I know they're just militia, but I don't want to be sparring against those German states, at least for now. Not when I've got such a good opportunity to quietly build up my economic strength. Just spread them out. Okay, 
Okay, you can sacrifice one galleon to go to the center. There we go. That's quite a nice balanced set of ships. Fifth rate, fifth rate, light galley. School in Orleans. So let's upgrade you immediately. Let's get you working on flying shuttle. It's going to take a bit of time. Not super bothered about your cultural buildings. Okay, right. Smith, upgrade you to Weaver's Cottage, 1600. First and foremost, let's start to create. Create this little squadron that's going to go exploring. Because you're gaining two fourth rates in their place. I mean, the Jebek can go with them. Can recruit one fifth rate. Recruitment in the Americas is going well. Because yeah, you can knock out Martinique, then Antigua, then Jamaica, then Nassau. Get you guys back in. Oh no, sorry, we're at peace with the French, aren't we? Let's check out Jamaica. Colonial army. Pretty much to be expected. 83 gold. Keep on running. Send the fifth rate over here just to make sure. But yeah, I'm going to start to want to build this Caribbean squadron. Thirteen thousand, because Genoa and Crimea is currently being blockaded. But in general, okay, let's go for another round robin. You go in here. Oh, Bristol's occupied. Get into Liverpool. Get into Glasgow. I think we've destroyed their fleet, and they don't actually have a. There's no Royal Navy here anymore. Principally, I think that's where we're at, which is pretty cool. To the point where I might actually recruit more sloops just with the aim of blockading Britain. It appears no one wants to fight for them either. Well, until the Great European War starts, but when's that going to happen? That could be happening any time. The next turn my Caribbean force will be up to more strength then we can attack the next island and then also start well really just start to recruit a second caribbean attack squadron or attacking army oh they're gonna go after my little sloop you meanies oh they captured it as well don't worry, New Spain. Eventually, I'm going to recruit a navy to just blow this little fleet out of the water. And there'll be nothing you can do about it. Actually, did they... Have they... Ooh, the Mughals. Have they beaten the Marathas? They might have done. I don't think I saw the Maratha flag for a moment there. They seem quite content. Boop, disappear. Is this one going to disappear too? It's because there's an Austrian navy at port, in port, so bloop. <laughs> yep. 14,500. Sao Paulo. Let's recruit Admiral Lucas Paletta. So, in terms of resources. Spices are the best. Let's find out what's going on in the East Indies. Let's recruit two more sloops to do that raiding of Britain. Sandy Bay is building another fifth rate. Just to keep this navy up to, f up to strength. Create the industrial building here. I 
ultimately there's just a limit public servant dies you might that's not my king fleet destroyed that's just the sloop and also it's provided us an opening actually no we can't attack martinique because that is a french territory and we are at peace we can deposit an army off the coast of antigua and take back that island let's get back to puerto cabello upgrade you to a dockyard would be good let's recruit another get another fifth rate recruited so Panama, are you struggling to export yet? No, you're still pretty good. That's part of the challenge is that I'm exporting so much sugar right now. But it's still a good amount. Still gets good results. But let's see if they elect to attack us at Antigua. That'll open up another high yield sugar plantation. Then Jamaica, which gets an abundant yield sugar plantation. Then probably land landing at falmouth might be the better well boston's too useful as a production center probably land at boston or land at mexico to try and get the new spaniards off our back once and for all potentially two more turns till we get lime juice and sauerkraut oh they are going to attack us well there we go let's get the first action land action we've seen this campaign in this episode and also be quite useful to see if they've got fire by rank yet see so if i can if i can invade the 13 colonies that'll add a lot more uh that'll add a lot more resources to our checkbook boston's a good one to hold because you can go north or you can go south So let's drag. Okay, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to advance ahead of the farm. Keep my two gun teams together. Put my grenadiers behind the guns. Follow up my infantry. Keep my frontiersmen together. Keep my mounted tribal auxiliary together. Because they're both ranged cavalry light horse together for melee purposes you're deployed you're deployed actually might keep my pikes behind the guns grenadiers in the gap because i'm going to elect to drag them forward i don't believe they have howitzers or mortars, rather. I'm pretty sure that's the case because they had a full, they had a full garrison, so they don't get any extra units. Run out my pikes. I can see them, the cavalry coming. Well, I don't care. Is that drop in the square? Drop in the square. They might fancy going for my militia, but uh, you know what? Here come the pikes. Unlimber the guns. Counter charge the colonial dragoons before they even get to the fight. But my colonial light cavalry are going to engage their colonial light cavalry have their way with them. My pike when are going to charge into Colonial Dragoons and do much the same. You men push up. Here comes the British regulars. They're keen to go after my skirmishers much we do know my 
pikemen can chase them down. Infantry form up. Pikemen have chased them down. Plenty of militia push up. Skirmishers push up to screen. Unlimber the guns. They were firing round shot. Still fire using regular firing drills. It's good for us. Not quite the best at cavalry combat, but we've already weakened them. Push up this flank. Excellent. Skirmishes to advance. But my my, it's looking like the British line cannot hold against superior Portuguese firepower. Colonial lights, engage their colonial light. Same with you, two on one. They're going for my skirmishes, but they're not going to make it. My pikemen are going to back them up. Charge the buccaneers. It's like the old joke. How much does the pirate pay for his wheat? A buccaneer! <laughs> or is it corn? It's probably corn. That makes a lot more sense. Keep on firing. Char go on and engage that British aristocrat. See him dead amongst the ground. <laughs> dead amongst the ground. See his staff dead amongst the ground. Light cavalry push on. Pikemen charge that unit of line infantry. An enemy square that broke. Pikemen can back up the combat against this colonial line. Yeah. Engage them, destroy them, drive them from the battlefield. Round shot and engage the 23rd. There goes the enemy general. There goes only amount of time before his staff routed. Mountain auxiliary form up. Engage the enemy with ranged weapons. Artillery, ceasefire. Push the men up aggressively. Frontiers men form up. Hey, the general's bodyguard came back. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of dead, a lot of dead Britons, and my general's all the way at the back. Are we going to chase them? We are indeed. We're not going to do too much killing, killing there's going to be a too close to the edge of the map but my god we're going to do some slaughter make sure you guys are firing well off slaughtered an infantry unit they're going to escape over there. Let's try and go for these guys. Ah, they are also going to escape. So somewhere there's an artillery crewman. Oh, 
Ah, he's gone. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Oh, the garrison's done. France demands Sardinia. They want to give us four field cooperation and indefinite military access. And that's a no. We're not interested in that. We're not interested in your technology. Prussia is advancing into Russia. I just saw them conquer a new territory in the east. Uh, no. I will not. Oh, Poland just took a territory away from Austria, though. Interesting. Very interesting. They're trying to make friends in the west to attack their the austro prussian alliance that's formed. Uh, but I will not do that for for a handful of shiny trinkets, to use the AI's terminology. I want paying, and I want tech. That's what I want. They want to give it to me. Then maybe. But apart from until then, not interested. Especially when there are other enticing opportunities uh, elsewhere. So you're looking for an alliance now because you're realising what position you're in. I do not want to get involved in a European war, although I'm sure I would be brilliant at it. Uh, no, Port the Kingdom of Portugal sees no reason to get involved in such petty squabbles. Not when there is money to be made. Money we shall make indeed. Oh, well, the Marathas are still alive. I should have noticed that actually earlier when they offered me an alliance. But still, a divided, a divided India is good. It means that no, no one faction is has a dominating position over the other, and it means that they don't start sending annoying armies around the world to try and interfere with my glorious kingdom. I'm not sure what you're up to, Corland. Thirteen and a half thousand. Okay, we effectively fought that action. Let's just take it. <laughs> so after, after a temporary pause, proper dominance over the island has been has been. Restored. I'm probably about a howitzer, actually. It's got high yield sugar plantation. Don't need metal roads here yet. Strictly speaking, you could probably you can actually become a centre of civil management rather than a military governor's barracks. That's what Caracas is for. They can get a government council. Are you struggling to export? Nope. So you can get boost your coffee industry Bogota could uh, that's, government chambers is the top level building for civil matters at least if I build that that means that they're uh, there the government side is complete Newport emerges build bow in Spain okay let's send infantry unit north secure build bow Your navy's pretty strong. We've got another sloop. I mean, you're just going to sit in... I mean, if they're just going to not react to my... Oh, yeah, we can't... We can blockade Bristol, at least. That's fine. It's the Leeward Islands are ours. It's going to take a bit of time just to bring them into the fold. But apart from that, things are looking pretty dope. One more turn till we get... Lime juice and sauerkraut, which means we can build naval hospitals. But I don't think we can build really high tier ships until we've got the appropriate, you know, government or uh, admiralty buildings. That's probably the case. You can't, you likely can't speed run second rate ships on the line like that. Cool. Okay. And turn again.
I mean, it's telling that the Dutch don't really want to attack the French. I think the, the Russians just counterattacked took, and took a, po a piece of formerly Prussian territory. Hmm. I suppose I could... Uh, no, I want to start building another army in Caracas. Because if you create multiple armies, then at least, for example, now, while that army in the Leeward Islands is now down, replenishing and restoring order, if I had another army, I could do some more good work. And I don't want to send any more troops from Europe. A, because they're not needed that rapidly, but chiefly because I don't necessarily want to weaken my defence in Europe. If you're not going on the offense in Europe, I've got to have a good defense. Gentleman recruited in Portugal. This gentleman will go up to Orléans. Fleet arrives. Who's here? That's the Mughals. Sweden, Genoa, Louisiana. Very well. How about East Africa? These are all neutral countries. I have no interest in declaring war on other neutral countries. Let's upgrade our government building the parliament chamber. We boosted our resource production. Okay, I need to upgrade. It's building Antigua to a magistrate. You're exporting everything. I think we all are, to be honest. Ah, oh, there we go. Ports. Six, uh, some are not exported. Upgrade. Oh, okay. So I'm, ex I'm currently exporting 34, but I'm producing 16, but they aren't being exported. It's got a low-yield sugar warehouse and a basic trade port. It needs to become a commercial port to export those goods. Let's go. I, only, I, can only, I can only have four tribe mounted tribal auxiliary. Interesting. Six native bows. Something like that. That'd be pretty good. Recruitment report. East Atlantic. Caribbean Sea. Yeah, there's nothing more that needs to be said there. Let's take this extra sloop up to attack Dublin. Or we'll attack this in port in Waterford. Attack the fishery in Liverpool. Attack the port in Glasgow. You know, I'm not going to cause them to go bankrupt. But I'd like to try. Military tech, lime juice and sauerkraut. So, yeah, I can't upgrade it to a naval hospital until I get the prerequisite technologies. So, Evora, go for join stock companies. Keep maintaining our position down this philosophical track. But looking at the timer, or what my record of what the timer is, I think it's time to end the episode. So, apologies as it's a bit of a slow one this time. Uh, we're in a we're in the position where we kind of just want to cement the gains we've got because we know it's all going to kick off at some point in the future and there's a whole world to take over so being a bit slow at the start okay so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of portugal cheers everyone